This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. AFTV, James, that was a really satisfying um, performance by Arsenal today. Lots of changes made and credit to every player that came in because every player that came in impacted it, played really well and Mikel Arteta would be very happy today because he got his spot on, didn't he? Yeah, he, he nailed it. The players were brilliant. I'm really happy. Mm. Um, the, the, the season, you know, from, the, from a Premier League sense, it is, I think it's good as over and you know, it's a shame the wind doesn't go towards more. But well, as good, as you say that, um, as good as over as regards obviously winning it and probably top four, but there's still, mm. you know, it, you, you can't put all your eggs in one basket and say, oh, we're definitely going to win the Europa League. No, no, I agree. So there's still that top six place at minimum, you, yeah. know, the, 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 you know, the owners and the money people around the club will be looking at in order to be able to reinvest into, yeah. into the team. So that's an important thing to try and achieve. A absolutely. You've got to keep trying to win games, you know, um, finding form to take into the Europa League games, trying to carry, you know, Mm. at least go up the table and you know end in a position higher than maybe Aston Villas who Everton mm. who we believe we should be ahead of so look I'm, I'm very happy with the win the performance was great um, I think the, the reason I brought that up was when I think a lot of us did feel that the Premier League season was as good as over really in terms of mm. something to really shout about in terms of achievements mm. um, so what you look for is progression in the team you look for something that tells you that Arteta is doing some good work and that the team's moving in the right direction. And I thought we saw lots of signs of that today. Um, you could go through the whole team, but I thought Cedric was brilliant at right back. Um, looks a much more assured option in that position. Looks to offer Pepe something different as well, which is mm. great. Um, Mary, you know, he's going he's to give Gabriel a good fight for that left centre-back role. You I made thought, a great recovery that time against Vardy, yeah. didn't you? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And he used his experience there to... He knew Vardy's faster than him, mm. but he used enough of his weight to kind of put him under pressure without fouling him. I thought he was very, mm. very clever. I thought he was brilliant. And a lot of people were blaming him for the goal. Maybe we could have done better, but I think Elneny should come across. So mm. that's one thing. Um, who else? I mean, William and Pepe. Wow. Mm. Wow. You know, that was... Both of them had their best ever games in an Arsenal shirt. I know people talking about the Pepe for the FA Cup final. I thought he was very good then. Mm. But today was different. It was the way the fullback was terrorised for the whole game. And he looked brilliant. And it, the skills were coming off. Everything was working for him. He gets his goal. Did he get an assist as well, Pepe? I'm struggling to remember now. Um, but Willian obviously got his two assists. Mm. Um, and Willian again, it wasn't... And I really want people to understand what I'm saying here. I'm not saying they had good games compared to what we've seen. No, they just flat out had very, very, very good games today. And I'm really happy for them. I'm happy for Arteta as well. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, going back on the Willian one, I mean, mm. you know, a lot of us... You know, when we saw the team sheet and he was starting, we're like, oh, come on, man. All right, he had a good game, came on during the week, did all right. But obviously, Arteta thought to himself, well, you know, he had a good game during the week. Let's follow it through. Let's see what he can do in the next game. And he did kick on. The challenge for him now is to consistently do this from now till the end of the season. Yeah. Yeah. The, the because when he plays well, he does offer a nice balance to the team, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, brilliant. Because he's kind of a creator and a hybrid with a sort of direct winger. He's kind of, mm. he's got the thing about Willian, he's got the attributes. He's got the ability. We've seen, it, seen him doing it at Chelsea not that long ago, less than a year mm. ago. He was performing at a very good level for them um, and finishing the top four, we must remember. So, you know, we, we all want, no matter what people have said about Willian, we all want him to come good. We all want him to do really well. And today he did it against a very good Leicester side. I know they've had injuries, but they still had Tielemann and Ndidi in midfield. They still had, still had your Pereiras, um, Soyuncu, Evans. They still had good players. And William turned up against them, which is great. Um, you know, I, I know some people will be wondering why Martinelli didn't start or didn't get the game time. I, uh, look, I think Martinelli's got time. We don't need to worry about it. I think the good thing is that we saw William do well in midweek. Not just contribute to the goal because he you know, played a nice pass to Tierney, but he was part of the build-up. He made it all mm. happen. And he's followed it up today, so I'm really happy for him too. This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com.